Hello, welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're talking about the multiband EQ. But before that, here is the scenario. I'm creating a spot ambient 3D sound in a game. It's a stream flowing with water. And what I want to do is simulate the filtering effect that happens as we get further away from a sound source. Now, what we could use is the built-in FMOD low pass plugin right here which sounds something like this when we attach it to a distance parameter. If you don't know what a distance parameter is, please check out my other tutorial on that. Zero representing the closest point and 20 representing the furthest point away. This is what it sounds like. As you can see, it's filtering the sound, but it sounds quite unnatural, right? It has a kind of phasing tone to it. So I want this to sound a little bit more natural. Now, the thing that we could do is add a three EQ, which is just very simple EQ like you've seen here. What I've done is I've added automation to the high and the mid knob, and I've just added the distance parameter down here, which is just reducing it as it gets further away, like this. Which is definitely better, but it could be a lot subtler and more convincing. So instead, what we could use is a multiband EQ, which looks something like this. As it sounds, it's multibanded. We can add a series of different elements to it, much like an equalizer in your DAW. For now, all I've done is I've added a high cut, which looks like that. And this is what it sounds like. which is already sounding a little bit more natural. In combination with this, this is a really great technique to use. I'm going to add a high shelf as well, which is, as it sounds, just lowering or raising the shelf of the EQ. Now I'm gonna set it to its neutral position up here. Then I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did to A. I'm going to select B, I'm going to right click on the frequency and I'm going to add automation. Now you can do it up here or down here. I'm gonna go down here and put add curve, distance, I'm gonna put two points, one at zero and the other one at 20. At zero, I want it to be at full volume, full frequency, and at 20, I want it to come down to more or less something like that. Sure, let's do it a little bit further maybe. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing but to the volume. And this is what it sounds like in combination. So there you go, multiband EQ, and here's a really quick tip on how to use it to filter out sounds based on their distance.